Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Why do I feel like I've been tricked into playing Stanley's Parable again? Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. So he actually lost it and always thought he was about to die. He's probably imagining the shaking. Day, everything just... stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. He didn't necessarily die right now, but he was keeping track of all that time, and then a week passed after the monster. There was shaking happening. He thought he was under attack. Probably imagining everything involved, more or less. Jiggly Farms? He's just got tons of packages of... food. And people were just taking care of him as he just kind of lost it down here for so long. In his own little... insane prison. Man, that's... ah. That, that'd make me nervous, how cramped this is. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara... and Molly... It seems like he's the family member that gets... that's freaking out about the fact that so many members of this family die all the time. He attributes it to some sort of outside force, be it a literal monster or something else. This is like his waste pit? Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one long day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. No way. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. That's insane. So he's down there for 30 years. He finally beats through the wall and walks out for the first time and he gets hit by a train? That's where that went? Holy crap. That entire family is just gone. One by one. The barber was almost the last to die? No. Okay, so... Looks like... 
It was Molly first, then Barbara and Calvin, like, back to back. And then Walter just to hold himself up, losing it over what happened. Do I need to go back and double check Sam's room? I don't- it doesn't- I don't think it mentioned how he died, and I'm worried that I missed something. I hope I didn't miss something. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe I'll go on a quick trip to go check, just in case. No, I'm not seeing anything around here to interact with that gives a Sam story, so maybe it's waiting for later? I imagine he got deployed in the military and then maybe, maybe died out there. Or something. Interestingly, uh... It got way darker, by the way. We have- we have transitioned into a later part of the day, and I think- I think I was meant to see that in particular when I, uh, go through that ca that, uh, passage and hopefully don't die the same way as my family member did. But the house is significantly darker now. One crazy thought is that these- this generator is still running down here. Like, how long has it been running for? I find it interesting because the main house doesn't even have power, but this room has power from a generator? How long after its occupant died? Alright, let's, uh... Follow among his path, alright? They love their books. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... I can only imagine what else she was hiding. It does feel like she's big in secrets. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Tubs of peanut butter. Sweet Odie Farms Creamery. Just peanut butter and jelly for days. Oh my goodness, I'd lose my mind. We made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day when we were in our field geology trips because it was just the most easy, portable stuff to keep around, but uh, by the end of that, getting real tired of it. I've pretty much made a permanent change from grape jelly to strawberry jelly just to never experience the grape jelly sandwiches again. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. There's Walter's memorial, where he went down. Train conductor had them? So that might be a little morbid. Unless the train conductor is the one that got all sad and hung it up, but that, even that's a while ago. That's a hell of a place to have the edge of your house be. Alright. Whoa. That's a trip too, so the water has eroded away at the shoreline. And so, the train no longer even connects. The whole track's eroded away. Wow. Wait, but only since 2005? He died- he only died 12 years ago, that's no- no way. It wouldn't erode that fast. But there is a track and everything. I don't know about that, man. I don't, I don't know if the geology checks out. Look at that, though. Is that a buoy? There's a ladder for, like, a deck or something out there? There's some weird details out there. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe we're supposed to think that it all eroded away that fast. Or maybe it's some sort of metaphorical death or something. I don't know. It's like the, uh, Barbara. I don't... I don't 100% know the circumstances of her death because the way it's told is so out there. Like, maybe she just got killed by her boyfriend? I don't know if I should even be writing this.
Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. So Edith, Edith had some family? Edith w went on to have children? Is that what's going on here? She's reminiscing about the death of so many people. Oh, you can see civilization out there. We're not totally isolated. And the history you're a part of. These rocks are pretty big. Being on the shoreline? Am I swimming out to that? Is that where we're going with this? Let's not jump straight to that conclusion right now. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Does this lead somewhere? So they made these giant sculptures too, like there's so many... ...creations about... I mean, Sven wasn't around forever, so somebody else was making things, probably. This developer's so good at these striking landscapes and... ...symbols that seem so important. They had a much more minimalist style in Unfinished Swan, but they still... ...could do moments like that. Getting some of those everybody's gone to the rapture feelings right now. And when you look at the house, at that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. Do we actually have to go out of the house and walk around the whole thing down the shore to get to the other side of the house? It's not even entirely unbelievable with how nuts this part looks. Look at this. These towers. So here's one question. Am I Edith Finch right now? Or am I Edith Finch's, like, daughter or son or something? Like, what if they found this diary and they're just retracing the steps? What if I go up there and I find her room? I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Derpy and Derpy Jr., Charlie, Tucker, Coco, Zoe, Zerfy, Derpy, Perpy, <laughs> Chirpy, Perpy. Oh man, these names. They have to have really short lifespans, right? Eight years. Thirteen. Twelve. Sure. Yeah, a lot of them died- lived, lived a decent amount of time. So judging by the hole, that's a dog and that's a cat. Cat died at fourteen. Dog died at thirteen. We got a rabbit and a fish. That's a big headstone for a fish. Holy. Okay. A pet cemetery. Kind of terrifying. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. That sounds about right with what we know about Edie. What she lives for. She lives for death. Is that concerning? So we had a cat that could fly, probably based on her notes, but with the owl and the cat. Didn't really do the whole shark and monster part, huh? You have Spaceman. Can I see the swings from here? 
We'll have to keep an eye out. Ben, the builder. And Edie, the rider? The rememberer? Let's see. E D I T H F I N C H, I guess. Well, well, yeah, it's Edie Finch. So there's no, there's no H in the first one. That leaves a B and a U, I think. And a K. I don't, I don't know. I think you can mostly spell her name that way. Walter Finch, who died. Oh, look at that visual. The underground cave with a little man walking out. That is a trip. That's an incredible looking m memorial. Barbara, she's the Hollywood star. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. He went down with the ship. You could see it poking out of the water at low tide. That's the ship house? Right there? Whoa. Thought it'd be like out in the ocean. Like, I mean, like out, out. The whole thing is a hell of a property to have. Not sure where the swing is. Oh, there it is. I passed it on the way in, it looks like. No, I didn't. I never went that way. Did I? No, not quite. But there's the swing. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Can I go there, I wonder? Somehow? Where do we go from here? I'm not supposed to jump in the water, am I? That'd be morbid. Don't think I can take the lantern. Part of me wonders if I'm supposed to go all the way out to that deck or not. I assume that used to just be attached, right? It used to this deck used to go all the way out to there, and now it's all collapsed and abandoned. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand, but the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Sam, Gus, and Gregory. There they are. Three people we're still waiting to learn about. American flag. So Sam died at age 33. Gus... They're both born significantly later. Yeah. I notice that the memorials get a lot less elaborate as they go on, don't they? No, well, never mind. I was gonna say as time went on, they got less elaborate, but that those ones are. I mean, that's Edie's. She was dead, unless she made it for herself, like in advance. And Walter died in two thousand five. These people were much sooner, actually, than some of the people there. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Milton 
Sanjay Kumar and Lewis Finch. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. He rejects the premise of the death because she she has to fight the idea of the curse or whatever we want to attribute to this. So born 1992, no death date. Just location unknown. For almost 20 years now. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. That explains something. Oh no. It don't go hurting the baby now. That explains a little bit of that now. So we're pregnant on this trip. Goody. That, I guess that explains exactly what's going on then. We are playing as Edith right now. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. So he eventually went on to have his own place. And they sealed... They finally sealed, uh, closed his uh, brother's space. They were both pretty intense. Intense. As we look at the the bear rug, could definitely use some light in here. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. So there's, there's our mommy. Right. Being all young. This is a trip, the depth of field here. Early, Dad. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. A camera's older than you are. This is a super cool idea for a flashback. You zoom in and take the photos that become the photos that everyone remembers the trip by. Or at least you were taking the photos that the main right, character is going to see. Because no no one else can see them. All she sees is whatever photos we took, and she has no other context of what this trip was like. So I'm, fr I'm framing her entire way of experiencing what happened. Ah, uh, I want to take this photo, but I can't get it in focus. And it bothers me. I actually kind of don't see a, something to take focus of. That? Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Does it sound like I'm done? Am I burning through our stock of photos? Oh, that's a nice... that's actually kind of a nice frame. So is it going down? It says 8 right now. Is that the depth of field or something? Or the camera count? I mean, he says it's an old camera, so it's not going to have like a disposable crank. Nothing quite like peeing outside. What's down there? 
That's just our stuff. A little more gas in the tank, I guess. Oh, wow, he just keeps going, huh? I wonder if I'm supposed to notice something. And take a picture of that. Ooh. There's something. I hear a, a motor down here? What was that? How are you still using the restroom? I don't know if that was like uh, somebody pulling the pull motor of a boat or if that was like a seagull or something. I wonder what, there, what else there is to notice. Okay, seriously, how are you still going? Do I have other controls, like shift or... I'm just wondering if I can change the depth of field. Okay, I think the moment's passed a little bit now, and now I'm kind of just like, all right, how do I proceed? <laughs> Is there something in the water? I can't tell if I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Oh, what? I did that already. Saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Don, just gotta reset the timer. Twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. No way. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. That's insane. That's- that's a crazy scenario. Holy crap. Oh boy. Okay. So... So our character's mother watched her dad die being plunged off a cliff by a deer that she shot on a hunting trip. And he- and he grew up in a room with his twin, who 
uh, died at the age of 11, and then he got to look across the room for om almost as long at, the, at this memorial of his dead brother across from him for all those t all that time. Talking about, he talking about, I won't always be here for you, and self-defense, or taking care of yourself, and all these other things, because they live in a family where everyone just seems to die all the time, and then before Sam's long... life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Before long, there came his time. A finch. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Here's a sealed door. So that probably that's probably really from him being in the military then. That same photo we saw before. Okay. K Finch. Is that on our list? Okay. Those have to just be different springs then, right? Like different offsprings? Yeah. Yeah. So Edie and Sven were married. So Sam must have married Kay. So that's the outsider. Uh, that's the outsider person. The person that's not from the name that married in and creates the branches we have here. So it's it's Don and Sanjay then? Is that what is that what that is? Is that my father's name? The darker it gets as we're alone here, I, f I feel like something's going to happen. Even though there's no reason to expect things to happen. But like, everyone dies in, in some comical, ridiculous way, so like, what if I die in some dumb way as a result? Or maybe I just bust my arm up and that's me on the boat. That's, uh, riding away with a busted arm reading about my diary from when I went on this trip. Or maybe that's my child, some great distance in the future. Investigating what they found. Only way to find out is to finish. 